This trip to the amazing city of Copenhagen is brought to you by our official travel partner. Welcome to the heart of Scandinavia, a place where historic charm and modern design seamlessly intertwine, Copenhagen. As we embark on this journey, let's take a moment to appreciate the city's unique culture. From its striking contemporary architecture to the time-honored traditions of the Danish people, Copenhagen is a city that beckons to travelers with its diverse offerings. Our official travel partner plays a critical role in making this exploration possible. They are the compass that guides us through the city's labyrinth of cobblestone streets, the key that unlocks the city's hidden treasures, and the lens through which we experience the vibrant life of the Danish capital. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, our top 10 list of things to do in this remarkable city. But before we dive into that, remember to click on the subscribe button to always be in the know. Number 10 on our list is the iconic Little Mermaid statue, a symbol of Copenhagen. This enchanting bronze statue, perched on a rock by the waterside, has been welcoming visitors since the early 20th century. Created by Edvard Eriksson, the sculpture is a tribute to Hans Christian Andersen's tragic fairy tale about a mermaid who gives up everything for love. The Little Mermaid statue, just over four feet tall, may be smaller than you'd expect, but her charm and the story she tells certainly make up for her size. Moving on, at number nine, we have the Tivoli Gardens, an amusement park that is anything but ordinary. This park, which is one of the oldest in the world, opened its doors in the mid-19th century and has been captivating visitors ever since. From enchanting gardens and exotic architecture to thrilling rides and top-notch restaurants, Tivoli Gardens offers something for everyone. The park's magical atmosphere, especially when lit up at night, is something you won't want to miss. Next, we come to number eight, the Round Tower, or Rundetarn, as it's known in Danish. This 17th century tower is not only a historical treasure, but also offers one of the best panoramic views of the city. Climb the winding spiral walkway, a unique feature of the tower, and be rewarded with a breathtaking view of Copenhagen's rooftops, towers, and the beautiful blue sea beyond. The Round Tower also houses a functioning astronomical observatory, a public library, and hosts exhibitions and concerts, adding to its appeal. Each of these attractions, the Little Mermaid statue, Tivoli Gardens, and the Round Tower, offers a unique glimpse into the heart of Copenhagen, making them must-visit spots on your travel itinerary. These are just the first three of the top 10 attractions we have lined up for you, so stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss out on our next travel guides. Moving on to number 7, the beautiful Nyhaven Harbor. This vibrant, picturesque waterfront is a must-visit for anyone in Copenhagen. Nyhaven Harbor, once home to the city's sailors and pleasure houses, is now a bustling area filled with colorful 17th and 18th century townhouses, bars, cafes, and restaurants. It's a perfect place to sit back and watch the world go by. You might even spot a few historic wooden ships still docked in the harbor, a nod to the city's seafaring past. Next on the list at number eight, we have the majestic Rosenborg Castle. This Renaissance castle was built in the early 17th century by one of the most famous Scandinavian kings, Christian IV. Today, it houses a museum showcasing the royal collections, including the crown jewels and the Danish crown regalia. But it's not just the treasures inside that will take your breath away. The castle is surrounded by the King's Garden, the oldest and most visited park in Copenhagen, perfect for a leisurely stroll or a picnic on a sunny day. Now, let's head indoors for our ninth stop, the National Museum of Denmark. This is the country's largest museum of cultural history. It's a treasure trove of Danish history, from the Stone Age, the Viking Age, the Middle Ages, the Renaissance and modern Danish history. But the museum isn't just about the past. It also hosts a variety of temporary exhibits on contemporary topics, making it a place where history meets the present. These three places offer a unique blend of history, culture, and relaxation. From the lively waterfront of Niehaven Harbor to the royal grandeur of Rosenborg Castle and the rich historical offerings of the National Museum of Denmark, they're sure to add a touch of magic to your Copenhagen adventure. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up with all our travel adventures. Next up, at number four, is the stunning Amalienborg Palace. Let's dive into its rich history and royal grandeur. This isn't just a palace, it's a symbol of Danish heritage, an architectural marvel, and the winter home of the Danish royal family. Four identical classical palace facades surround an octagonal courtyard, a sight to behold indeed. The changing of the royal guard, a daily ritual, 
is a must-see spectacle. Now how about a peek inside? The Amalienborg Museum offers a journey through 200 years of royal history. Moving on to number 5, we find ourselves at the Christiansborg Palace, a place where the past and present converge. This palace is unique as it houses the Danish Parliament, the Prime Minister's Office, and the Supreme Court. Talk about multitasking! The opulent reception rooms adorned with modern Danish artworks, the Great Hall with its Queen's tapestries, the Royal Stables, and the ruins of the castle of Bishop Absalon are all part of the Christiansborg Palace experience. It's a veritable treasure trove of Danish political and royal history. Finally, number six on our list is the Stroge Shopping Mile. And no, it's not just another shopping street. Stroget is one of the longest pedestrian streets in Europe. It's a vibrant artery in the heart of Copenhagen, pulsating with life and energy. The street is lined with a mix of high-end brands and local boutiques, offering a shopping experience that caters to every budget. But it's not just about retail therapy. Stroje is also home to numerous cafes, restaurants, and entertainment venues. As you stroll down this bustling street, you'll find street performers adding to the lively ambiance. So there you have it, three unique attractions, each offering a different slice of Copenhagen. From royal grandeur to political prowess, from high-end shopping to street-side entertainment, Copenhagen truly has it all. Remember to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our travels. Finally, at number one, we arrive at the breathtaking Frederiksborg Castle. This majestic Renaissance castle is nestled in the heart of Hillerod, just a short journey from Copenhagen. Considered one of Denmark's architectural jewels, Frederiksborg Castle is a testament to the grandeur of Danish history and the artistic mastery of the Renaissance period. Constructed in the early 17th century by King Christian IV, the castle stands as a symbol of royal power and national pride. Its remarkable layout with its intricate details and symmetrical designs are a sight to behold. The castle is surrounded by a beautiful lake and manicured gardens, creating a picturesque setting that is nothing short of a fairy tale. But the allure of Frederiksborg Castle doesn't stop at its exterior. Inside, you'll find the National History Museum, where you can delve into the rich tapestry of Denmark's past. The museum houses a vast collection of portraits, historical paintings, and royal regalia that spans over 500 years. Now let's take a moment to look back at the top 10 things to do in Copenhagen that we've explored. We've journeyed through the bustling streets of Stroge, marveled at the beauty of Nihaven, and dived into the aquatic wonders of the Blue Planet. We've strolled through the enchanting Tivoli Gardens, admired the art at the National Gallery, and climbed to the top of the Round Tower. We visited the Little Mermaid statue, explored the historic Rosenborg Castle, and discovered the vibrant neighborhood of Christiania. And finally, we've reached the pinnacle of our journey, the magnificent Frederiksborg Castle. Each of these destinations offers a unique glimpse into the heart and soul of Copenhagen, a city that seamlessly blends history, culture, and modernity. From its picturesque landscapes to its vibrant neighborhoods, from its historic landmarks to its contemporary attractions, Copenhagen captivates the senses and stirs the spirit. Whether you're a history buff, an art enthusiast, a foodie, or a nature lover, this city has something for everyone. In conclusion, Copenhagen is more than just a city. It's a gateway to a world of experiences waiting to be discovered. It's a place where old meets new, where tradition intertwines with innovation, and where every street corner, every building, and every attraction tells a story. It's a city that invites you to step out of your comfort zone and immerse yourself in a rich tapestry of experiences that will leave you yearning for more. So, whether you're planning your next vacation or just dreaming of far-off places, remember this. Copenhagen is not just a destination. It's a journey, a story, and an unforgettable adventure. And we're here to guide you every step of the way. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Copenhagen. Hit that subscribe button one last time and stay tuned for more exciting travel guides.